Hello and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we have something very exciting for you. We will be exploring how to connect your Flutter application to Firebase using the powerful Flutter Fire CLI. So why should you consider using Flutter Fire CLI? Because it streamlines the integration of Firebase services into your application, making it very easy to add advanced features like authentication, real-time database, storage, and much more. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification. So let's get started. You may be familiar with this environment, which is the Firebase console. When you want to use the Firebase services, you need to add your application to the Firebase. And you go to add app and then you choose iOS or Android. And based on which you choose, for example, Android, you go through some steps and you add your application. You repeat the same process for iOS. You click on iOS, you go through some steps and you add your application. But in the same place, at the end, you have Flutter. With this option, you go through some steps and at the end, you add iOS and Android applications both at the same time. So it is super easy and convenient. So if we click on Flutter, it mentions that you need to use Flutter Fire CLI. So to start, we need to install this CLI and then we need to log in. So if we click on this CLI link, we go to this page and we have some options to install for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Based on the operating system, you choose which one you want to follow. And for each operating system, you have the option for new developers and an option for advanced developers. For example, in Mac OS, you have this option to automatically install the script. You run a single command that automatically detects your operating system. It downloads the latest CLI version and enables it globally so you can use the command in your terminal. So I think this is the easiest option. So if we go to this option, you need to run this command in your terminal. Same thing for Windows. If you choose the standalone binary, you can go to the instructions and you need to download the binary for Windows and go through the steps. So inside the Android Studio, we have the terminal at the bottom. When you click the terminal, it opens up a window and sets the location at the root of your project. So this is by default the root of the project, but make sure that it is the root. You can do ls and see all the folders like Android, iOS, and lib. So this is the root of our project. Now the first step is to run the command and install the CLI. So we need to run this command. I have already tried this command and save the output. So I'm going to show each step and the output of each command. First, I executed this command, which is the first command to install our CLI. And then I received an error. This was the error for the network connection. After fixing my network connection, I issued the command again. And then because I had some issue with the network, it says that your machine has a corrupted binary installed. And it says that you need to upgrade using this command. So I issued this command and it downloaded the binary and fixed the issue and installed the Firebase tools. You can see it is now installed, all done. So we did this step. Now the next step is to continue to log in and test the CLI. 
And if we go back to our Firebase, we can see that we need to install the CLI and then log in to our account. So now I issue the command Firebase login. And then if you are not logging, you will go through the login process for your Google account. And then after that, you can see in the documentation, we need to do Firebase login. And next, I issued Dart Pop Global Activate Flutter Fire underline CLI. This is going to activate the Flutter Fire CLI package. So we can use it in our terminal. Next, I issued Flutter Fire configure dash dash project equals to my project name which is in our firebase when we created our project and then i got some error and then i issued the command again and it found the project and then as you can see the android application is detected here it says that it is not registered on firebase and also the ios application it is not registered so it says that it's going to install or register them in the firebase and it's going to add and it's going to add a file in our project for example if we go to the lib folder we have this file firebase options this one was generated by flutter fire cli so you can follow the steps in the documentation it is very easy to add your applications both applications with just one command so i hope this was helpful thanks for watching i will see you in the next video